AI, Artificial Intelligence, The Revolution, uh, New Sports Betting, Football. El Wevo, it's for us. How are you today? I'm doing extremely well. You know, with ChatGPT and all the applications evolving today, around artificial intelligence, our daily lives are increasingly impacted. And I'm convinced that in 2020, artificial intelligence will be at the heart of our households. And you will see that by 2024, 2025, there will be plenty of jobs that will have may just disappear because we will be in replaced by this artificial intelligence for some jobs or some activities of our daily life. Today, I tested for you, Payjoy. It's a service that gives you, I promise to find interesting forecasts, thanks to artificial intelligence. And since it's somewhat new and it's one of the first services to offer this, I thought I'd test it. And that way you'll be able to see what it's all about. So is artificial intelligence effective Bruno Paris Spotif? Or is it a dark scam? Well, we're going to see that together. So when you arrive on betjoy.ai, you know directly there are several forecasts. Some are recommended and some are recommended depending on whether the codes are actual day, whether the codes are value and if it's trend. So you see you have highest actual, big odds, highest value, so big value and trending meaning it's trendy. Then you have the bookmaker who is stuck. So in this specific case, it's a game. You have home drama away. So home is the code for the home victory. So for Manchester United, you have the draw. So the tie at 4-0 or 4, that is parity score between Manchester United and Manchester City. And you have away who wins. So the outside team wins. So Manchester won. Next, just below, you have the two teams, the date, the match time, and simply the percentages of people betting. So Manchester United, 27%. Manchester City, 9%, 51%. So I don't know if it's the players betting on it or it's the probability Anyway, you see that it's home that is selected and it's highly recommended by the app. So after you can enter your bank amount on Badjoy, there was indeed 2-1 with a goal by Marcus Rashford at the 81st. It's not exactly something that's wide ranging, but it's something that plays and it's odds at 26. So it's quite a high rate. Second match that was, which I chose via Badjoy through the app. So I had a high rate, something trendy. So it was Arsenal winning against Tottenham on January 16th at 1.30 a.m. Moderately recommended, it was the away team's victory at 2.28. There were indeed two with a goal against his own team from Goloris. So it's quite rare to be mentioned. And a goal, I think, at the 34th or 35th minute for Arsenal. So it was 2-0. The match was wrapped up quite quickly. So there, same success with Badjoy. Okay, I told you that AI was going to replace the little bodies. Maybe we're not there yet. And the last match I selected through the app. So again, there was quite high value. Although it was just a 1.50 odds, there was a lot of value and the match was quite tense. And highly recommended by Betjoy was Liverpool's victory over Brentford. So a 1.58 rate. Well, unfortunately, it's not the strong one who won. So on a score of three. So here it is uh, over a two week test. I selected thanks to the three match application. Two matches have passed and one match completely missed. So I continue my analysis. I do not rely on Badjo to do my own, my forecast for betting my money. Let's see how it goes in the coming days. But you don't see not much either. There are quite a few predictions. But on the other hand, I really chose things that seemed relevant to me through the app. That is to say, really have a big reputation, really have a big value and really have a high value. Something trendy. So it's going to be the three matches I selected via Badger. I had some good ones. I had a bad one, but in the end, I'm still positive since I remind you that there was still a 440 odds. So very few predictions. You have to know how to choose them. Today, Badger, it's still rather mixed after on one such small periods and so few forecasts. It's completely it's hard to position yourself at the bottom. Um, I've put a link where I almost daily post videos. Today, I'm doing a bit less because I'm very busy with the launch of a new uh, products. You know, I know times are tough and I'm trying my best to make money, whether it's through sports betting or through simple copy paste tricks on the Internet. I'm working on a big product about this uh, to help you as much as possible and provide you with the best quality. So I'm testing these tips. See if it works. Make a specific video for you and to be able to offer it to you. In addition to that, I've partnered with Aurelian Ameka, where I simply bought the resale rights to most of his courses. So uh, you will also have a business expert who can help you to provide trainings that will be interesting, included in some sort of pack. Of course, for me, it wasn't free to have this resale right. So even if they will be offered with the training, it will be trainings that will have a certain price. Because as I always say, a free training, there's little chance that you will follow it. Where you're going to have to invest in it, you are going to have to make it profitable. So indeed, I want to bend as many people as possible who get started and are motivated. Ushita, I'll try not to have a 
Betelifa from Bad Joy. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? This is not a sponsored video at all. I have no particular link with the people who make Bejoy. I will not ask you to click on a link that sends you back to Bejoy. And so I earn from the, in relation to that. But in any case, I'll keep you updated on the progress of artificial intelligence in relation to sports betting. I'll see you soon for another video. It was Proto Matthew. Bye.